What is going on today guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about the elephant in the room, EV pickup trucks. But specifically we're going to be talking about the new Ram EV, the Ram Revolution, which is going to drop apparently in 2024. She's a dirty girl today. So with the Ford Lightning coming out and the Chevy EV supposed to be coming out in 2023 here, it only seems fitting that Ram is to announce that they are going to also be having an EV pickup truck coming out in 2024. This Ram pickup truck, also known as the Ram Revolution, I actually don't mind the name, was actually supposed to be unveiled later this month in November in LA at the LA Auto Show. Unfortunately, that was delayed a little bit, so we're gonna actually see it in January in Las Vegas, hopefully. But either way, Ram is going to be making a Ram 1500 electric truck and uh, I'm excited to talk about it. So it seems like all three big truck manufacturers here in America are dropping big dollars into the EV truck segment. Ford came out of the gate dropping about $20 billion into research and development into their Ford Lightning. Chevy topped that, um, dropping about $35 billion into their uh, EV truck development. And then finally, Ram has dropped about $30 billion into the development of their Stella EV platform, which they say is going to be the platform for both the Ram 1500 and any other full-sized vehicle, like an SUV or the Grand Wagoneer, um, in terms of the EV platforms. Now of the big three manufacturers here in America, obviously Ram is going to be the last one to the market with their EV pickup truck. However, Ram has claimed that they are not worried about being the first to the market, they are worried about being the best in the market. So we'll see what happens. Now I wish I could give you guys all the figures about this new Ram EV, but we actually just don't know that much about it. But here's what we know. So right off the bat, Ram is claiming that their EV will have 500 miles of range, which is pretty high. The Ford Lightning only has about 300 miles of range and Chevy also claims that their vehicle is only gonna have 400 miles of range. So a pretty big range claim by Ram. The Ram Revolution will have just over 10,000 pounds of towing capacity. To put that in perspective, the Ford Lightning also has right around 10,000 pounds of towing capacity. The Ram Revolution will also have a fast charging rate of 150 kilowatt hours, which apparently is higher than both the Chevy and the Ford EV trucks. The battery size is rumored to be anywhere from 101 to 119 kilowatt hours, which is actually pretty much the same size as the Ford Lightning. So this is where it kind of becomes interesting how Ram is going to get that, you know, 200 more miles of range than the Ford Lightning with having pretty much the same battery size. So it was rumored that Ram was actually going to have an internal combustion engine on board the EV truck. And this is what is going to extend the range to 500 miles versus Ford's 300 uh, mile range. Now, <laughs> in my opinion, that kind of sounds like a hybrid engine, um, you know, both with an internal combustion engine and a battery pack. But, you know, what do I know? Now, what I also found interesting is apparently the Ford Lightning in the future is going to be coming out with a long range package, which is going to extend the, uh, the range of the Ford Lightning, obviously. And apparently the patents involved in that whole long range thing involve some kind of um you know either 10 or 15 uh gallon tank so what i'm really thinking is what's going to happen here is the ford lightning their extended long range package is going to involve some kind of internal combustion engine on board again apparently it may look like a toolbox that's mounted in the box of a truck and it's basically just gonna be a small internal combustion engine that's gonna charge the battery. So, you know, is that a hybrid? Is that an EV truck? Eh, the lines are getting a little blurry there. But again, it's all allegedly, we don't really know anything confirmed 100% for sure. The Ram Revolution is gonna have Samsung batteries in it. They're working with Samsung um, in terms of their battery technology that's going in that EV. The other thing is they're gonna have anonymous driving. Uh, kind of like the Teslas is what I'm assuming they're gonna have in there. Another thing that was most likely confirmed is that the Ram Revolution is going to be a body on frame style pickup truck. 
The Ford Lightning is also a body on frame style pickup truck. However, the Chevy EV is actually not a frame on body pickup truck like this one sitting right here. It is a uni, unibody pickup truck, basically meaning that the frame and the body are kind of united as one and both the frame and body are used to support the truck. Whereas something like this, a more traditional pickup truck and the same thing that's in the Ford Lightning and apparently that's gonna be in the Ram EV. I think it's a much better design for a pickup truck. I mean, you know, there's nothing necessarily wrong with a unibody and I imagine the Chevy V is gonna be perfectly capable. However, you know, let's say you were to, you know, damage this box right here, right? Pickup truck, who knows? You could be loading a skid in here and you know, the forklift, I don't know, whatever, screws up the whole side of the box. With a frame on body truck, there's literally like four bolts that hold this box in and uh, the whole box will come off, you can put a new one on. With a unibody truck, that's not possible, right? Because the body and the frame are all tied into one and it kind of becomes a little more complicated uh, and so that's why I think I, I agree with Ram going with a um, frame on body chassis. I think that's a much better option for a pickup truck, but that's just my opinion. So that's what we know so far about the Ram Revolution. We don't know the price. We don't really know any mechanical facts. We don't know how much horsepower it's going to have. And we also don't really know what it's going to look like. Um, so there, that does lead to a lot of speculation. And until it's actually revealed here in January, I think there will continue to be a lot of speculation on what exactly this truck is going to be. Now, in terms of the information we know, like the range, you know, that's great that Ram announced that and uh, it looks great on paper, but until it's actually, you know, proven in the real world, who knows what's gonna happen between now and 2024. But I do think Ram and Stellantis both know that the future is going to be electric, whether people like it or not. So here is the meat and potatoes of the video today. I'm curious what you guys think about the new Ram EV, the new Ram Revolution, and EV pickup trucks in general, because, you know, I feel like I have a pretty good following of, you know, pickup truck lovers. And, you know, in theory, these EV pickup trucks are gonna be marketed to you guys, the pickup truck buyers. So I'm very curious as to what you guys think about the future being, um, you know, EV pickup trucks. Now, I guess while you're typing away, tell me what you guys think. I'll tell you what I think. It's mixed. So, I mean, right away, an electric motor, and it is a motor. An engine actually uses chemical energy to produce power where a motor does not. So it is an electric motor. It's not an electric engine. Um, just a little tidbit for you there. <laughs> um, anyway, so an electric motor produces torque extremely well, much, much better than any internal combustion engine, even a diesel engine. A, an electric motor would crush a diesel engine in terms of torque curve. Basically, an electric engine's 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 play, an electric engine's torque curve is like boom, boom. Um, at zero RPM, it's basically producing 100% torque all the time no matter what, where an internal combustion engine kind of has a much broader torque. So in terms of a pickup truck, which is more or less meant to be towing or pushing objects, having all that torque really is an advantage. So an electric motor in theory is a very good idea in a pickup truck. Now on the flip side of that, in terms of towing and pushing things, batteries are very heavy which is going to dramatically impact your pickup truck from towing anything because your payload is going to be dramatically affected having big heavy batteries in it so we'll take the chevy ev for example i think it weighs like eight thousand pounds this power wagon weighs seven thousand pounds so that 1500 ev weighs a thousand pounds more than this heavy duty truck but that chevy v is going to have a payload of about 1300 pounds which isn't the worst but you put two adults in there, maybe some gear, you know, your payload is going to drop to well under a thousand pounds of payload. And that is going to dramatically affect how much tongue weight you can actually put on the truck, which is going to dramatically affect how much weight you can tow. So, you know, it is a give and take situation. I think without a doubt, range is probably the single most important factor when it comes to any EV vehicle, let alone a pickup truck. And I think it's what you guys would probably be most concerned about when buying a pickup truck, because you guys can go online, you can see TFL, they do an amazing job. Obviously, I really enjoy what they do, but they do a really good job showcasing when you have a load behind an EV pickup truck, it just 
dramatically decreases the range. When they were towing with the Ford Lightning, for example, up the Ike Gauntlet, which again is an extreme test, but the Ford Lightning lost like 18% of its total battery charge in like eight miles, which is, you know, an eighth of the total battery gone in eight miles. So, you know, it, it makes it very difficult for someone who's, you know, hoping to tow with their pickup truck to plan how much range they're gonna have. And I think that's a major, major concern with any pickup truck. Now, the other big thing is the cost of these EVs. I think we're all well aware that the Ford Lightning, for example, is quite an expensive truck. Realistically, you're probably gonna be looking at, in Canada at least, right around $100,000 um, with tax for a Ford Lightning. So it is a very premium vehicle. And let's not kid ourselves, any pickup truck right now is quite expensive, but I think an EV, especially that like the Ford Lightning is a very premium, premium pickup truck in terms of cost. And I imagine the Ram Revolution is gonna be right around the same price as the Ford Lightning. In other words, very expensive. Now, the other thing in terms of cost is the cost of maintenance. And I don't think people necessarily have considered this because, well, myself being a diesel mechanic and, you know, we've had some reps from different companies come by and talk about their EV semi trucks. But in order for me to work on a semi EV truck, I would have to get a certification pretty similar to like a high voltage lineman because of the actual high voltages that these trucks would potentially have and they are quite dangerous to work on you need special equipment and all of that you know retraining recertifying as well as retooling the dealership will gladly put that cost onto the consumer so i would not be surprised of you know shop rates going up to like over 200 dollars an hour in the future with these ev trucks i don't know maybe i'm just a little bit old school and i just don't necessarily understand the point of the ev trucks obviously I would love to not have to pay for fuel. It's a big plus. And I think there is a thing knowing that you're not necessarily polluting like a normal internal combustion engine is. Now, I'm by no means a EV hater. I think they're, the technology is actually quite cool. And I just think there are some real world um, you know, difficulties that need to be discussed, need to be solved. For example, you know, if you could, let's say, charge your EV vehicle with a couple solar panels in your backyard, that would be wonderful. It would be really cool if everyone was energy independent with a couple solar panels in their backyard, if that technology was to come. But I think the big boys, AKA the government, really not like people being energy independent. I think the government enjoys people being energy dependent on the grid. But uh, you know, that's a, that's a different conversation for another day. So as it sits right now today, I think internal combustion engines don't face the amount of issues that the EV um, vehicles do at this point, but uh, you know, that could change very quickly with some new technology. Now, my one last point is apparently Ford is going to be revamping their Ford Lightning in 2025. And I think that could be a truck to look out for because the Ford Lightning will have been out a couple of years by then, lots of real world testing. And I think Ford may be able to really put that real world testing, real world knowledge into their 2025 revamp Ford Lightning and potentially make a really, really good EV pickup truck. So I think that could be the one to look out for. That is my opinion as a diesel mechanic about the new Ram EV trucks and EV trucks in general. I think they are a really, really cool idea. I think the future is no doubt going to be EV trucks. Unfortunately, if that disappoints some people, I'm sorry, but it just seems like that is going to be the future, whether you like it or not. Um, so as of right now, I think the internal combustion engines are a much better solution to transportation, but you know, who knows what the future holds and realistically odds are EV pickup trucks, EV vehicles will be a better solution in the future. But as always guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you like cool stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you on board.